Good evening. Uh, tonight's review is something I'm really excited for because we're getting to the end of the year. That means after Christmas, after New Year's, we have New Year's resolutions. And on top of that, we have plans, projects, whatever that's coming our way. So, this is a planner. Um, outside, just quick, it's a hardcover, leather. It's got a, um, an elastic band to hold it closed. So if you do like to keep things in there, um, it can, it keeps them pretty much there. Um, on the back cover, it actually has a small pocket. So if you keep receipts or ideas or whatever, you can put them in this little pocket and with the, the elastic, it pretty much will stay in there. Not a hundred percent, but you know, whatever. Um, it's really cool cause it actually has, um, how to use this planner. Uh, they have suggestions because it is in three different sections. There is a monthly plan. Uh, don't call it a dream, call it a plan. So you have, you know, this isn't labeled for you. So you start when you start. This is January, March, October, whatever. You get to pick your months. Um, it's got notes here. Goals and targets, it's got five of them. Your focus, your achievements, and your reflection. Achievements, reflections, goals and targets, focus. I like this because beginning of the month, you put your goals and, and um, targets and your focus. These are the things you're working on through the month. These are the most important. The things that you achieved and your reflections. So that means that you take time at the end of every month to go, what did I do? What did I get done? What did I learn from it? Because sometimes it's through not meeting your targets and your goals that you learn the most from it. And that's, that's fantastic. Not meeting a goal is not a bad thing because sometimes that is how you end up doing things the way you need to. Um, the next section is a weekly plan. It's not a plan that is important. It's the planning. So... It's not just having a plan, it's planning it out. So in the weekly section, the week and the day, my goals, my focus, my priorities. So what things are the most important? What things are you trying to get done? Interests, what are some things that you want to do or that you kind of want to look into? Then you've got your, your week, you know, your weekday and then your review of this week. What did you get done? What did you learn? What did you fail at? What do you need to keep doing next week? Uh, things like that. Um, this is great. This is a great section because it allows you to go, okay, I think I'm going to need two days to work on this thing. I'm going to start Wednesday. Um, or I've got a meeting on Tuesday. Or, oh, I plan to do this thing this day. But, oh, I've got this thing planned. I'm going to need to move it to this day. Or whatever. Um, it's just nice having that... Um, laid out. Oh, my apologies. Hmm. Daily plan. Plan your work for today. Then today, work your plan. So, the daily section. You got your day and your date. So, these little squares up here. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whatever. Plan ahead. Your schedule, so if you've got meetings or things that need to happen with certain times, put them here. Notes, review of the day. Um, one thing you'll notice about the, oh, and sorry, free time to do things. Um, sometimes, if you're like me, if you just keep going, you're going to work yourself into a corner. You don't give yourself the time to do self-care, as they call it. Uh, that's something I have a failing at. I'm always trying to... If I just get this thing done, if I just do this, if we get this finished, I'll be happy. I'll be content. I'll be able to, and it's not true. So saying, hey, I'm going to take the time from 3 to 5 or 7 to 8.30 for myself. I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to read a book. I'm going to play a game. I'm going to play with the cats. I'm going to go for a run. Whatever. You know, you can plan that into your day to take that time and to keep yourself uh, refreshed. Um, 
let's see, uh, there's a bunch of pages in the back that are just for notes, and it just says note. So if you're working on something, sketching or whatever, you can keep those in your planner as well. Um, if you go back to the front of the planner, it has some, some things. It says, my top goals for the upcoming six months. Now, for me, it might be, we've got a second garage. I'd like to get that cleaned out. It can be broad stroke. Or, I would like to clear out enough space to be able to do crafts. You can make it as broad or specific as you want to. And you've got plenty of space here. So you could say, you know, I'd like to uh, work out more and then add in twice a week or three times a week or work up to three times a week, you know, whatever. Make it as general or specific as you want. My wish, this can be, I wish that I had more time to myself. I wish that I did more crafting. I wish that my house ran more smoothly. Whatever. And then affirmation. You affirm to yourself, I can do this. I'm good enough. Things like that. Um, as someone who has high functioning anxiety, I have a panic disorder, something like this helps me keep my mind straight. And I know that sounds kind of silly, but... It allows me to see my plan, know that I've got a plan, and that helps me manage it. Um, because these are in three sections, the book actually comes with three ribbon bookmarks. So you can put one in each section so that way you can keep yourself keep yourself straight. You're not searching for your pages and whatever. Um, this is great because even if you get it now and you're not quite ready for it, you can wait until whenever. This isn't. This doesn't have an expiration date. You can hold on to it for a year, two years if you want to, and then you can start it. Or you can use a couple months out of it, and then you're like, this isn't quite working. I need to, you know, step away for a bit, and then you come back. You can restart it. So, so this is great for someone who's getting started with planning or has a big project ahead of them. This is a good way for long-term plans and to reach goals. So, highly suggest it. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. If you've got questions, comments, or profound thoughts, put them below. Thanks much. Bye.